Welcome to Sunday Science, where we show you how to do experiments using things that you can find in your own home. My name's Hazel, but this week, Penny, Anna, Kate and Olivia are here and they're going to do our experiment for us. If you go down to any beach in our country, or any country in the world, you're bound to find plastic litter. This might have been left here by people using the beach, blown here by the wind, or carried here by the tide. Not only doesn't it look nice, but also it can pose a real threat to marine life. What you might not have seen is the smaller bits of plastic. These are bits of plastic less than five millimetres in diameter, and they're called microplastics. They may be small plastic pellets, and we call these nurgles, or mermaid steers. Well, you can get really, really small microplastics, microplastic beads, and these can come from everyday cosmetic products that you could use in your house. When you wash with these products, when you use them in the shower, they go down the drain and into the rivers and into our seas. They might be very, very small, but they do cause a problem to tiny animals, which are the primary consumers at the base of the marine food web. So if possible, we don't really want to use these microplastics. But today we're going to show you how to get the microplastics out of everyday cosmetic products you might have at home, such as facial scrubs or exfoliating shower gels. You will need a cosmetic product, a spoon, a mixing bowl, warm water, funnel, coffee filter and a collecting vessel, like a glass or bowl. wash the shower gel or your cosmetic product off your spoon using some nice warm water. Next we need to stir and stir until the shower gel has dissolved. System. Use a ruler to draw lines on the coffee filter, then put it in the um, funnel and place it over a bowl. too much or you might rip the coffee filter. When all the water has gone you can pick up your filter and look at it. You can use the squares to count how many microplastics you have collected. Sometimes the microplastics are so small that you can only just see them but if you put your finger onto them, you can feel them and see them more clearly on your skin. If you want to avoid trying to use microplastics in your cosmetic products at home, you need to look on the ingredients list and try and avoid anything that has nylon in it, polypropylene or polyethylene in it. In fact, the filter here of Anna's, which looks covered in microplastics, has actually got little bits of shell from a walnut instead, which is much better to use than microplastics. When 
you've done your experiments, why don't you share your results through the social media links or in the comments below.